Hey friends, this is going to be a really short video, but I couldn't find any videos on how to use or make an Ethernet cable out of Monoprice's cables and their Ethernet jacks, which come with a million of these little, little doodads. Um, I don't know if it's focusing, but this is what you slip the little wires through. And then here's the little end piece. So in this, we're going to... Um, just quickly show you how to make an ethernet cable using their stuff and using their website. So the first thing that we need to do is go to their website. I'm going to have a link for this in the description below, but we need to choose how we're going to run the pinouts. Um, if you're actually trying to figure out if you want to run with T56A or B, you want to do B. B is what everything is starting or what everything uses. A is an old standard, but in the end it really doesn't matter as long as end to end is A. So I'm going to be running with B, and so the pinout for that is going to be orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, and then brown. So the first thing I do is I take a um, box cutter or a razor knife, and then I go down about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, and then I just lightly roll the razor blade where I want it to cut. I don't push because it'll cut the cables underneath or the wires underneath. Sometimes I don't push hard enough. Um, you're going to get kind of frustrated. You need to give it enough strength so it does actually kind of start slicing the sheathing around it, but you can't be pushing too hard because it will cut the cables like I mentioned. So once it's cut, just start wiggling it off. There you go. And then pull your cables out from around the plastic and the little string that's running in it. Take your pliers. And then carefully cut it so you don't cut the wires that you just um, exposed to the world. And then what you want to do is start untwisting all of them and then what I do is I just grab the little pairs and then I pull my fingers across them and try and straighten them out as much as possible because you're gonna be pulling that little clear doodad over the cables in just a few minutes so straighten them out as best as you can try and get all the little kinks out all right, so now we're gonna take the little clear thing and since we're doing the B method we're gonna be so actually before I start there's a little lip this is gonna be the bottom part so it's gonna line up with where the gold pins are on the bottom of the actual jack so and then with that we're just gonna have that facing the bottom and then from left to right we're gonna run the orange white and the orange so I like to push these two through together so. now they're staggered so you want to push the first one through the uh, bottom one and then through the top and then the bottom top bottom etc that'll make sense when you're actually looking at it so orange, white, and then green, white. Sorry, orange, white, orange, and then green, white. And push that through as straight as I can. And then blue, and then blue, white. So this one got a little frayed at the end of the wire, so I'm just going to cut that off with the razor knife. Didn't do too good of a job with that. Gonna try again. Well, this time I'll try the pliers. Hopefully that'll do it. There we go. Much cleaner. 
but yeah, slid right in. Okay, so just like it was on the chart, when you flatten these suckers out. So, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, white, blue, green, uh, brown, white, and then brown. And what you're going to do is push that little clear doohickey all the way to the bottom of the cable. It can be tricky because the cables will want to fold up like so over here at the bottom. But once you get it straightened out, it should, or it should slide down fairly easy. And you want to push it down as close to the to the sheathing as possible, so we'll like this. And now what we're going to do is take the pliers and cut it just after the doohickey. So, just like so. And you want to cut cut it as close to the little plastic collar as close as possible and then like I said the little pins on the bottom that go with the little lip so push that in push it in as far as it can possibly go it'll kind of make a little click when it gets there then take your crimpers push the port in then crimp, crimp it, just squeeze it as tight as possible, and you're done. And don't be like me. If you're putting on boots, make sure you put it on before you put this on. Fortunately, I've got the other side of the cable to do it, but then that's annoying. Once you got it on, go ahead and slide it all the way through the cable if you messed up like I did. Slide it over the jack port. Boom. There you go. One, Cat 6, Cat 5, Cat 5E, whatever kind of cable that you got from Monoprice with the jack on it. I hope this helped. Go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel. I've got a lot of interesting stuff. If you want to see more of my stuff, go ahead and hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.